Us tonight we continue our investigation into rebuild Florida. The taxpayer funded program was created to help homeowners repair and replace their homes damaged by Hurricane Irma in 2017. As our Heather Crawford reports, we continue to hear from frustrated homeowners who say taxpayer money is being wasted as they're waiting for rebuild to do the work they were promised. It's just ridiculous what you have to go through trying to get your house fixed. So I've got so many notes and problems. I mean, exterior, interior. Almost seven years after Hurricane Irma damaged Christopher Corson's Atlantic Beach home, he is still struggling to get it repaired. At one point, he says there was a stop work order. Uh, because of permits, not having permits. And what are you still waiting for rebuild to fix? The biggest issue is the water getting in the house. And uh, the room that leaks the worst now never leaked before. And once they dug up the footer around the house, and they tried to seal it and whatever. It did not work by far. That's where the water was leaking. First it started out like a bubble in the paint and then it burst. Disabled after he says he was run over by a truck. I've had 32 surgeries uh, in the last eight years and four months. He joined the Rebuild Florida program expecting to get help. The roof has been done like five times uh, the first time they did it, they tore it off completely like, like they said they would. But then they went ahead and they didn't put none of the fascia board back up where it's supposed to be. When we first visited his home in June, he pointed out the problems. You can see with the vinyl, the soffit, there's gaps there. The pieces are cut too short. We get a good enough wind, it's just going to blow it all off. He's concerned taxpayer money is being wasted. If the program would have worked the way it was supposed to be, then I think it would have been all right. But with the way it's going and all the mistakes and, and what have you, uh, it's costing the taxpayers way more money than what it should have. So how would you describe the quality of work that Rebuild Florida did on your home? Well, by trade, I am a carpenter. They did a bad job. They really did a bad job. And my wife caught uh, guys putting a shower back together. They had it on YouTube how to do it. The water is going to run from there down this ditch and then out toward the road. Ten weeks later, we visited his home again. Since we were last out here, tell me what's what's changed. Well, they come out here. We're still getting water in the house, so their thinking is to get water away from the house. But now they're going more extreme. You can see where they've started taking dirt out. Is this satisfactory to you? No. Why? No. Well, I'm 100% disabled, and I'm scared to even walk in my backyard. We can't even let our dog out. Haven't been able to for like five weeks now. Corson is also concerned. And here's the damage they've done to the power line. About another hazard in his yard. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to cause a fire. They've damaged the wire. I mean, I don't know if it's going to cause a fire or what. I worry about it all the time. And they say they can't get a permit. They can't get a permit. Inside. And it smells like a sewer when you walk in the house. He thinks his house is making him sick. Be behind this wall, I'm scared. I know when we tear this sheetrock out, it is just slap full of mold. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. We are working to get a mold inspector out to test his home. I think it's making him sick. I really do. But we can't afford to go, go stay nowhere. I mean, I wish we could because I wouldn't stay here. All he wants is the house fixed and the problems resolved. It's been five years of nothing but messes. Now, we reached out to the contractor overseeing work on Christopher Corson's home. He told us that Florida Commerce, which oversees Rebuild Florida, is his client and not the homeowner, so he says it would be inappropriate for him to comment. For more than a month now, the only response we've gotten from the state to our numerous emails is that they're looking into this for us. We've also requested the contract for the new company the state hired to administer this program, but our records request has yet to be answered. We will continue to press for answers. Heather Crawford, First Coast News on your side.